Hello, Irregular Nation, and how the fuck is everybody doing? <laughs> Welcome to another Irregular Rant. And on today's Irregular Rant, we're going to just talk about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Not the movie itself. No, 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 no. Um... We're going to talk about the the war that goes on between fans. I mean, the fuck? Come on, everybody. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and say, can't we all just get along? No, I don't give a fuck if any of you get along. I really don't give two shits. Um, but we just got an amazing trailer. Um, a movie that was sabotaged years ago for all different types of things that happened. And I'm not going to dive into all that, you know, cause I'm not going to bring, you know, all this drudge up all that because I don't really need to go there. Um, but after this trailer dropped, um, you had, you had the, uh, the one side of awesomeness and then you had the other side of douchebaggery. <sighs> Look, at the end of the day, this is fantasy fucking characters, okay, everybody? Characters from comic books made up by people that had beautiful minds to come up with all this shit and for us to enjoy, and it's been done for decades. And now we live in times where you're able to see this come to the big screen and put on, you get to see all this shit come to life. But here's the problem where all that stuff happens. Now, look. I'm not, I've always been a nerd, okay? As you can see behind me, I've always loved all the cartoons and animate, you know, animation, all the superhero movies, sci-fi, um, every exaggerated reality thing you can think of. I've always been into, that's just the way my mind is. It's what intrigues me. But what gets on my nerves a little bit, and like I said, I've only had my channel for like a month and a half, um, and I'm having a fucking bang out time with it. I love this. I've always wanted to do stuff like this. So, you know, the fact that I'm in it now, I'm just like, damn. Now, this is stuff I've always paid attention to. You know, I've always followed all the different channels. Uh, I've seen channels that were like on top and then they took a shit and fell down. I, you, you see the channels that play their narratives. You see the people that actually tell you the truth straight up. You see the people that are whoring themselves out just to get money from you and then they make it look like they love you and all that kind of stuff. But guys, at the end of the day, they just want their money, okay? Um, you know, this should, what you see like me doing and a bunch of other people and all that, it should be just straight about your love for all this stuff. It shouldn't be finger pointing at this one, at that one, trying to prove this one wrong, trying to prove that one wrong. I mean, grow up. Get a life. Honestly, get a life. Uh, there, you know, most of everything in this world is illusion. We all chase things that don't matter. I mean, look at the fight that goes on between this. And I can't say that it doesn't matter to one individual because to one individual, this could be so monumental. It's what they've been waiting for. They, they fought hard for it. There is a Look, I was a part of, I wasn't a part, I was just basically a fan from the outside of this whole, of the whole movement, like you see. Um, I donated, of course, and I've got, bought my merchandise and all that kind of stuff, but I was never anyone coming up with the shows or like Justice Con or DC Fandom and, you know, the release to center cut movement and all that. I mean, that was amazing to watch and what they did and how they raised money. But of course, uh, you know, you're going to have those other people that come in and they want to give you a different version of that. And they want to give you the negative side. But here's the thing on this negative side, right? When you talk about it, the people that try to come in on the negative end of this, they're going for shock value. Plain and simple. Um, it, it's blatantly obvious when you, you know, I, I stay away from all of it. Now, way before I did any of this, I used to watch all these channels and I'd always be like, wow, that guy just totally changed his opinion or that just seemed really staged. You know, like you were trying to get a rise out of people. So you just said this, you said that you could, you pick certain words and then you're like, ha let's see what happens now. And then that gets you your clicks. 
that gets you your views. And then you start growing a nation. And then, you know, other people that say, oh, I like the way this asshole talks. So now I want to join in on it. And let me jump on that gravy train and let me go antagonize somebody else. People like that, douchebags. Those are douchebags. Um, but here's the other, here's the flip on that. They're still allowed to have their opinion. You know, they can do whatever they want. If they want to, they're running their own channel. They want to put out what they want to put out. Okay, cool. You know, don't click on it. Don't, don't engage. The moment that you engage with all this stuff is the moment you lose because you're engaging with someone that's not on your same view. So if they don't have your same viewpoint, that might set you off. Uh, I'm a guy that likes to argue. Um, I like to look at both sides and try to bring it together and see where it all goes. But, you know, if you're, if you're going on and you're trying to go at someone that, you know, you know, that isn't a fan of Zack Snyder or isn't a fan of this movie coming out, why are you doing that? What is that going to do for you? For them, it makes them happy because they're like, ha ha ha. Now I can prove this guy wrong or that girl wrong. And then I can make them look silly and say, oh, look at you. You're so toxic. And then, you know, you start getting into this like cuss, cussing match or name calling and anything like that. And once we, once we hit that level, then it's all, everything is lost. Um, I see, I, I, I saw, because, you know, I'm part of Twitter now, I saw like certain people battling some of these others and I'm like, why, why? Their narrative from the start was always negativity and that was it. So that's what they were going to play on. But to, you know, go at them is, is a, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of your energy. Uh, I, I don't understand the whole point of it. I mean, here's the funny part too. So like when you look at that, right, you go, okay. So this person doesn't want to see it happen. They want to call it garbage, trash. Oh, you ruined my childhood. Dude, <laughs> there's a lot of shit that's come out in the days of, you know, Hollywood that could have, I guess, if if a movie can ruin your childhood, then you're a pretty weak-minded person. Or if you're like, uh, that's not my Superman. Uh, that's not my cyborg. Uh, I'm sorry. How many different iterations of the characters are out there? And like I said, fictional characters. So it's almost like, yo, you know what? You don't like the way it's done? Then you go out and you go write a movie. You go make it. You go do your VFX. You go figure it out, you booger eater. You probably don't even know what the fuck to do. And I'm not computer savvy. I'm not. I've been learning all this. So at the end of the day, you know, none of this shit's easy. So the people that are in these spots, there's a reason they're in these spots. They know what they're doing. Zack Snyder has his own vision. He is a huge comic book person. So he takes everything from comics, but he takes it from certain styles of comics. They're, they're, like I said, there's so many different iterations. There, There's different versions of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Anybody that says Wonder Woman doesn't like, isn't savage. She's a fucking warrior. She's an Amazon warrior. Um, in the comic, she rips Maxwell Lord's head off. Hello? She didn't do that in Wonder Woman 84, Wonder Woman 84, and we won't even get into that. But here's like that problem too. You know, like, you, you know, look, let me not overly rant on certain things because I'm trying to stay on course here, irregular Neil. Um, you, you you can't just sit here and, and worry about every individual's opinion, all right? Look, like I said, different variations of the character. You stay true to the core values, what you see. Um, if you want Superman saving a kitten out of a tree, go watch the old Superman movies, okay? If you want, you know, Batman all quippy and jokey, go watch the Adam West Batman. Or go read one of the comics. Or go watch a goddamn cartoon. Even in the cartoons, everybody, dark, Batman's dark as fuck, okay? Superman is gritty at many points in time, okay? Oh, Superman doesn't kill. Well, Superman's had to kill aliens and other fucking outwardly beings. You know, like I always go to that, how people couldn't stand the next snap. Um, look at the layers of why he had to kill Zod in that movie. I mean, Jesus. And anybody that looked at the Justice League trailer and tries to say that it looks the same as Josh Whedon's Justice League, 
really? I mean, that is what we call everybody shock value. That is that those are people that want you to hear that and go and, and have a seizure and then go onto their channel. You're clicking on it. You're disliking it. You're giving that person the attention that they want. Don't you get it? You give them that attention. Do not engage. Like I said, screw them. Do your thing. Control your vibes, everybody. Don't don't race to the keyboard. I know I always call everybody keyboard warriors. Don't go out there and start typing all this stuff because why are you doing that? Then you're going to invite a bunch of other people to come in and then they're going to set you off or they're going to call you names. It's not, nobody likes to be called names, honestly. So look at it like this. When you're on a high, be on your high. But be on your own personal high and stay within yourself. Enjoy it. And if there's a couple people around you, your little circle, enjoy it with your circle. Don't race to the cesspool that is the internet to see what everybody else is saying. Don't do that. Be your own person. And then when you're on a low, you don't want to race to sit there and give your opinion on anything either because you're not under controlled emotion. You're not centered. You're not thinking clearly. When you think clearly, you know, and you kind of rationalize what all this is about, guys, the, it's coming. So regardless of a person disliking it and hating it, person loving it, people kind of, oh, you know, whatever, or people going, yeah, I don't give a shit, you know, let it, it's okay. Everybody saw this trailer. This trailer fucking blew up, okay? Don't worry about WB doing this or – or that one doing that, or, you know, it don't matter. It's coming on March 18th. You're going to be able to watch the fuck out of it all day, every day. And guess what? As soon as it does well, they're going to do something. They're probably going to continue the universe. Like we said, I don't know how they're going to do it. Dark novel, animation, hell, if you're able to put this into another movie, wow. I would be shocked if we got that and you got all the actors back. That would be insane. But we don't know. You don't know what the spinoffs are going to be after this drops on the 18th. You don't know. But to sit there and play the speculation game and go at every individual that's saying something, you're going to lose your mind. So that's why I always say stay within yourself, stay within your own universe, and no one's going to harsh your mellow. Nobody. Keep your vibes. Protect yourself. Protect your energy. Don't put yourself out there into a universe that you know is breeding negativity, that you know wants to come after you for no apparent reason. You know, that just speaks to who they are or who I won't even. I, well, you know, what? I can't say they. That just speaks to who those individuals are at certain points. If that's what they want to do. OK, have fun. Bye bye. Nice to see you. Dude, there's over 7 billion people on this planet. <laughs> One individual opinion really doesn't matter. Whether he has 3,000 followers, 40,000 followers, who gives a fuck? Okay? Who cares? This is a tidal wave that isn't going to stop. It's not going to stop. You might have some people trying to fight it with their little super soakers, trying to squirt back at it. <laughs> it don't matter. It don't matter, everybody. At the end of the day, you know you got it. You know I'm excited for it. And tons of other people are excited for Senor Snyder's Justice League. That is upon us, okay? It's upon us. March 18th, HBO Max. If you haven't signed up, what the fuck are you waiting for? Let's go. But everybody... Just stay classy out there. You don't want to see it, don't watch it. But guess what? The ones that don't want to see it and the ones that are talking shit, they're still going to click on there to watch it, but they're going to give you that other side of it. They're going to want to pick on it. They're going to nitpick. They're going to say, this is not this. This isn't that. How could you like that? That's so dark. They wouldn't do that. <sighs> That's exhausting and a waste of time. Honestly, it really is. Okay. Like I said, I'm a guy that I like everything, and I like the MCU, but I'm a DC guy at heart, and I always will be. But like I said, I watch it all, 
and I give you my honest opinion. And I'm not out there to get you to click in just because I want you to hear something. No. You want to click on this? You click on it. You come and watch me. <laughs> I'm only on here because I need to I need to let this stuff out. I need to talk about the things that I love when it comes to this because honestly, I've never really had a nation around me that was into this stuff. So it was always kind of me talking at people. I don't want to talk at. I want to go back and forth with everybody, you know, and have some fun and talk about all this awesomeness that we all get to experience 24-7 on all these streaming networks, no matter what the property is. God. Everybody, stop being a bunch of assholes. How about that? Everybody just stop being a bunch of assholes. You don't have to worry about other people. You don't. Worry about those that are in your little circles and in your universe. Anyway. All right, everybody. I want you to go hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And become a part of the irregular nation. Because... Why wouldn't you want to take a ride on the irregular side with this guy? Cheers.